On drop rate is a series where I can only receive an item within its wiki stated rate, but with a twist. If I receive the item before or on its rate, I get to keep everything earned during the episode, including the desired item. However, if I do not end up getting it, I have to forfeit all the loot earned to you guys, the viewers. Let's introduce today's challenge. This is the Amulet of Glory, an extremely well-known item for its good stats and extremely useful teleports, all for a cost of only 11.8 thousand GP. But this version only has a limited amount of charges until you need to recharge it again, either at the Fountain of Old in the Myths Guild, or the Fountain of Heroes in the Heroes Guild, granting it 4 charges again. But there is one more area this can be charged at, which will always grant it 6 charges, and that is the Fountain of Rune located deep into the wilderness. And that is not all, when charging an amulet here, you have a 1 in 25,000 chance of turning it into an eternal amulet of glory, which as the name suggests, has infinite teleport charges. Now with current prices, the eternal amulet of glory is worth quite a bit more, a staggering 55 million GP. So in this episode, I will purchase 25,000 uncharged amulet of glories for nearly 300 million GP, with the hopes of seeing one of them turn into its eternal version. Unfortunately, the Amulet of Glory has actually gone up in price a bit, it is now over 12,000 GP and uh, we have an offer in for 300 million GP on 25,000 of them. And as you can see, they are slowly coming in and hopefully we should get all of them in no time and be able to start the grind. While we're waiting for these Amulets of Glories to buy, we have the perfect opportunity to finish off one integral part of this grind, the Wilderness Elite Diary. And here we go, the final step of the Wilderness Elite Diary being done, and we can now go get the Wilderness Sword, which is the important part of this. 83 agility from the Experience Lamp, but that is not why. This Wilderness Sword is incredibly good because it allows you to infinitely teleport. Let me show you guys, this is incredibly good for this grind. Right here, literally where you charge the glory. So after this, I charge them and I run all the way up here, if we go onto the map run to this obelisk right here, teleport to our bank, and then teleport back with the new glories. Hey, look at that. We already almost have 5,000 glories. I'm going to take these out, and I'm going to be putting them into the bank in one tap, because I can't have a loot tracker for this video. It's kind of hard to keep track of how many glories I've charged. So I'm just going to have them all in one tab and just keep this offer in and put them in there as we go along. Oh, and by the way, this video will be the riskiest money-wise in my entire Undrop Rate series, as I will be counting all the charged glories as my actual loot. So if I end up getting 25,000 charged glories with no eternal, I'm giving away all those 25,000 glories. Just like probably most of you guys, I play a lot of online games and some of them have subscriptions, like World of Warcraft, which I did not even know I had a running subscription for and cost me $15 a month, which I don't even have time to play right now because RuneScape takes up so much of my time, but this is where today's sponsor Rocket Money comes in. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that helps you cancel and manage your subscriptions and works with a bunch of different subscriptions. Simply request the cancellation of any subscription you currently have running and Rocket money will take care of it. You can even send in a picture of any of your bills you have like internet or phone bills and Rocket Money will negotiate the best prices for you. Right now I'm actually saving up for a new computer because I'm playing on an 8 year old PC and saving money anywhere can be extremely helpful in reaching that goal. And on that note, Rocket Money does not only cancel and manage your subscriptions or negotiate your bills, it is much more than that. It also lets you set up a budget that fits your lifestyle, helping you stay on top of how much you spend and on what every single month to show me a clear image of where I can save money and put aside towards that new PC. So to save more and spend less, join over 5 million members using Rocket Money today by going to rocketmoney.com slash alonescape or click my link in the description or pinned comment to get started for free. Thank you so much to Rocket Money for sponsoring this video, let's get back to charging glories. But let's give a first inventory a go, I think this is one of the best routes I can do. First off, of course, teleport with a new acquired sword and then use them all on the pillar. Every time I do this, I will profit some because these are 12.5k and I'm buying them for 12,000 GP. So every inventory is actually 14,000 GP profit and of course, if we do get the eternal glory, we are making bank. I have my destination set on these pillars to 13 wilderness, so we will be able to teleport right into the Ferox Enclave, which I think we're actually teleporting to right now, but just having the Ring of Dueling in my inventory to do this when I get there is actually faster, so I can also restore my stamina here on the pools and get new glories from this bank. 
restore my stamina, and back we go for another inventory. You know, I kind of realized I will definitely not have to buy more than 25,000 glories, because even if I die with them right after I charge them, I've still charged them towards that 25,000 I'm buying. And the odds of me dying before I charge them is so minuscule, because even if a full team stands here, it is a multi-area, so it is possible, and them actually killing me before I just get to charge them on this Fountain of Rune is really, really unlikely. But you know what? If that happens, then fair enough to that team. They do deserve my 27 glories. You know, over the course of the on drop rate series, I have unlocked a good amount of these miscellaneous collection log slots, with one of my crowning jewel, of course, being the dragon full helm, but just below that is the eternal glory. So if we get it, it is going to be a collection log pop-up, which is always nice dopamine to get. And uh, of course, if I do not get it, well, Let's not talk about it. One of, if not the best plugin Runelite has is this one, Menu Entry Swapper. It allows you to change the order on all of these different options on items or on objects. And my left click option is just U, so I can just do that right away instead of equipping it. And you do that by holding Shift with Menu Entry Swapper enabled and swapping your left click to use. And that goes for this teleport as well. It's normally on Activate on the left click, but instead you want it on Teleport to Destination. So time to Shift click. Left option, teleport to destination, and now you can just click it and you're done. Oh, and uh, of course, on my wilderness sword as well. Nice. And with this inventory, we just hit one hour of charging glories, and I do have to say, it is not the most riveting activity, but at least we have not seen a single peak here yet, so we have not lost anything. And I forgot my ring of dueling, so I have to take a bit of a roundabout way to get here, but let's have a look at how many glories we managed to charge in one hour to kind of gauge how long this grind overall is going to take. And so in one hour, we got 1,351 glories charged. And by the way, we are getting so many more just from the GE. So we can keep putting them in there. And I'm definitely not going to charge them faster than I'm buying them. But that means this grind could take up to 18 and a half hours of just charging glories. So my sanity will definitely be tested here. I think if we bank these, we should be 10% done with the grind. Let's see. Yes, over 2.5k of them. And let's have a look at the GE. I got another 1.6k and we're only missing a bit less than 7,000 of them to still buy. So this is definitely going pretty smoothly. PK roulette. Is this guy actually AFK or is it? Okay, I lost the roulette. He's definitely not AFK and that's the first death probably of this grind. Because I have no food, there is literally a 0% chance that I live here, I feel like. And uh, it is a multi-area, so he could end up having a team as well. Can we get redemption? Uh, we got redemption, but he has a teammate, so yeah, we're dead. And that is minus like uh, 290k or something like that, because we do get to keep three glories at least. By the way, if you are wondering what is going to happen to the giveaway if I lost some of the glories, if I do not end up getting the eternal glory, well, I'm going to be buying them back. So don't worry, the giveaway, regardless of how many glories I lose, will be 25,000. So the giveaway will not suffer at all, only me. Even though it's only a short amount of distance you have to run from the Fountain of Rune to this teleport, because it is so deep into the wilderness, as a kid, I would have been deadly afraid, even if I'm only risking glories. Both because it used to be a lot more active than it is now, so the risk of dying was way higher, but also because I've spent so much time in this game now, I'm kind of just used to being in the wilderness, and I feel like a lot of people feel the same. But if you're kind of a new player to the game, I would definitely recommend to at least try to go to the wilderness. You don't even have to risk that much just bring a couple of black dehyde items or something like that because if you do get comfortable in the wilderness there are so many good money makers here like the newly added undead pirates the wilderness bosses and the revenants just to name a few of the bigger ones Oh, you have got to be kidding me, man. The one time I'm looking away from my screen to do something else, that's when a peak carry comes. I mean, I guess I deserve it, but I've kept track of my minimap every single time not to die and waste too much money, but of course the one time, dude! I'm so sorry to everyone that noticed. How have I not realized I can just equip the Ring of the Ring? Um, if I had this from the beginning, I can have 28 inventory slots. Guess I'm so used to doing wilderness bosses and just having it in my inventory. Finally, I can stop getting these notifications that I bought like one amulet of glory at a time, absolutely blasting my ears with rune light notifications. But that is now all of them bought, and the only thing left to do is to charge them. No way. No way! Oh, let's go! We actually got the eternal glow. Okay, we're done. 
No money is risked anymore. Let's go ahead and equip this beautiful amulet. Look at the clan chat absolutely freaking out. I think I'm close to 10,000 glories charged. And of course, we have to have a look at the collection log. Let's go over to other all the way down to miscellaneous. This is actually a very nice slot to have done. And there it is right under the Dragonfall helm. And in honor of getting this amulet, we are going to now use it to teleport to Edgeville. And of course, it has infinite charges, so I can still sell it. No problem at all. And when it comes to how many glories I charged, just barely below 10,000. And this tab is now 354 million. Hopefully, I can actually sell all of these amulets for the price that I bought them and also sell the charged ones at a profit. Had a bit of a look at the GE tracker and it seems like I can actually sell all of these for this price. 250 GP profit on every single charged glory and you can see they are actually selling and I'm just selling the normal glories back for its normal price and the eternal glory should be selling for 54 million GP. But I'm going to bed now and hopefully tomorrow they have all sold. Good morning everyone. I just had a nice 9 hour sleep so let's have a look. Is everything sold or will I have to lower the price? Everything is sold! Okay, that is really good. So on these 10,000 glories, we made 250 GP profit on each one of them. Which is not a staggering amount. It's like 2.5 million profit. But on top of that, of course, we made the Amulet of Eternal Glory in 50 3.4 million profits. After the cuts and everything, we managed to make 352 million, meaning 52.3 million profit. So I would say a pretty good and profitable grind. But that is it for this video. Like the video if you liked it and subscribe for future uploads. And until next time, guys, take care.